okay so this question is asked in in one of the gate exam okay pyq you can see they have mentioned that internet service provider isp has the following chunk of cidr so here the meaning of cidr means classless inter domain routing notation so they are talking about the classless ip addressing available with this is the format they have given so this is the address this is the actual address so what is the address they have given 245 dot 248 dot 128 dot 0 slash 20 that is given in the problem okay so if you observe what are the possible number of addresses the number of addresses is given by the formula in the classless addressing is 2 power 32 minus n so this is 2 power 32 minus 20 that means 2 power 12 means total addresses are 2 power 12 you can see so it is mentioned that the isp means internet service provider wants to give half of the addresses half of the chunk of the addresses to organization a okay to organization a half are given so now if you observe this particular 2 power 12 i divide into two equal parts okay i divide two equal parts then i can give one of them to a because they have mentioned half is given to a when i divide into two equal parts obviously they become half and half that half can be given to a so you can give the left side to a or you can give it to the right side of okay right right side one to a also suppose now assume that suppose if i have given this one to a means so if i have given half to a means what is the meaning see it is 2 power 12 na? so 2 power 12 means what is this value okay it is 4096 address are possible 2 power 10 is 1024 into 4, 4096. But if I divide into two equal parts, this 4096, so this side half means what? You will get 2048 addresses. Here also you will get 2048 addresses. Half and half, you will get the addresses. So here 2048 means, so here I can write 2 power 11, and this side also you can write 2 power 11. Okay, like that. So now you see from the actual block i divide into two equal parts and i have given half i mean the right side to a now the left half is uh, left over or you can approach the problem like this also give left side to a and then you can start analyzing the right side both the ways you can solve okay ha huh. now see it is mentioned that a quarter of the organization b is given that means what so you can say once you have given half to a so, in the remaining half, whatever it is left over, so divide into two equal parts. So, if I divide into two equal parts here, so if I start from here, it becomes a quarter. Now, this is given to B. How do you say it is going to become a quarter? See, if this is N function, if I divide into equal parts, N by 2, N by 2. If N by 2, again I divide N by 2, by 2 means N by 2 square. So, it n by 2 square means n by 4. So, if this is n, it is n by 4 means what? Quarter. Quarter means what? 1 by 4. So, you can see uh, when this 2048 I divide into two equal parts. So, here you are going to get 1024. Here also I will get what? 1024. So, this 1024 I can write like 2 power 10. This 2 power 10 I can return as what? 2 power mm, 32 minus how much 22 so this 22 is the mask actually here also you can observe you have written 2 power 11 na? so this one regarding this a this i can written as 2 power 32 okay minus 21 you can write so here the mask is what 21 so once this basic division you have done then you can start approaching the problem actually okay uh, now see while uh, retaining the remaining with itself means means see, you can see once the quarter this side is given to be remaining quarter it is keeping with the isp so that is what they have given 
Now they are asking um, which of the following is the valid allocation of addresses to A and B. Okay, how to A and B the addresses are assigned from the options. Okay. So now how to approach this particular um, problem? It is very simple. Listen here. So they have given original block now. So divide into once you divide into two equal parts. So you can observe that. Okay, what is your observation? See, it is 2 power 12. When I divide into equal parts, 2 power 11, 2 power 11. So this 2 power 11, I can write it as 2 power 3. Okay, into 2 power 8, I can write. So the reason why we have written this will give you an idea. This 8 bits will be available in the fourth octet and these 3 bits will be available in the third octet. So, so to further extend our problem, to extend our problem, it is giving you an idea. You take the last 2 octets in the given problem you can see. Okay? Uh, now see, here in the given problem, last 2 octets means what? 128.0, you take that, convert into binary, so that you can find out the 3 and 8 bits. That is the meaning. So, the actual block how much is given? So, you can see 245.248 dot how much? 128.0. No? So, you take only the last two octets. So, if I have taken last two octets, it will be like this 128.0. So, this 128 I can write like 1 followed by Okay, seven zeros and this zero I can write it as what eight zeros you can see. You can see it is three and it is eight. Okay. So from the third octet you take the three bits and in the fourth octet you take the eight bits. So that uh, we can find out this half division and remaining it is going to become the prefix. So with this prefix. So, this is the starting address. So, so on like that, if I continue that prefix, like you can see 1 followed by 4 zeros. So, with this prefix, you can see with this prefix, this all zeros is the starting address. With this prefix, what is the ending address means? It is what all ones I can write. So, this is the first half I can say. I mean to say, this original block when I divide into two equal parts now, in that the first part is this one. And if you write in the decimal value, this is nothing but 128.02 up to which number? You can say 128 plus 7, it is 135. So, 135.255. So, this is the first half you can say, left side you can say. Okay. You can also write here, you can observe that mask is 21 now. So, to have a clarity, so if you want, you can write slash 21, here also slash 21. So, the basic idea of this problem, this block is divided into two equal parts now, the left part is this one. Then what would be the right part? So, now we have to solve it for the, okay, right part. Hmm. So, you can observe now. This series is completed. So, what can be the next series? It is 1, okay, 3 zeros and 1. This is the next series because the previous series is completed. And with the next series, here you are going to have what? All zeros. So, the next series first address is that one. So, so on like this. This value will be 1, 3, zeros and 1. So, with the same next series, what can be the ending address? So, here you can have what all 1s you can say. You can have what all 1s. So, we divide into two equal parts now, the right side part, okay, whatever we have. So, that is what we are discussing. So, what is this value? You can say 128 plus 8, it is 136. So, this is nothing but 136.0 slash 21, 2. Up to which number will be there? You can see it is 136 plus 7, it is 143. So, 143.255 slash 21. 
So this is the second part we can say second part. So as for this problem, when I divide into two equal parts now, the left part is the first one, right part is second one. So now if you want to give, suppose you can see in this problem, we have given the right part to A now, that means this part you can do, you have given to A, like you can give to, you have given to A. Okay, now this left part is there, left part is there. Okay, huh. got it. So now what we can do, so this particular diagram, whatever here it is there, na, if you show in a diagrammatical manner, it will be like this. So the original block, okay, what is the original block that is given in the problem? You can say that original block is 245 dot 248 dot 128.0 20. So if you are showing in a diagrammatical manner, you will have a clear idea. Okay, so this is how it is divided into two equal parts. So how it is divided into equal parts, that division here we have done. So the first part we can write like this. Hmm. What is the number? 245, okay, dot 248, okay. 128.0 slash how much is the slash value you can see first half is 21 so here it is what slash 21 is the first half so the entire range is available here uh, what is the second half you can see second range second half is 136.0 so that i am writing so it is 245 dot 248 Okay, you can see that number is how much 136 yeah, dot 0 slash 21. So, like that the first half is divided into, it is divided into two equal parts. So, we have already taken uh, the right side we want to take it as A. So, that means this entire thing is a reserved for what A. I can say the entire thing is a reserved for A. So, now we have to uh, talk about this uh, left side you can say. Okay, because all already reserved for A na for A. Okay. Hmm. So here uh, the point is like this: if I divide into two equal parts now, if I divide into what two equal parts? So this is going to become what the left part. And uh, here it is going to become what the right side part you can see. So now here you can observe whatever in the actual problem I divide into equal parts. See this is already given to A. Now what is left over for the division? You can see the first half is left over for the division. So that we can divide into two parts like this. Okay, so that is what we are trying to solve now. Hmm. You can see. So, what is this value? We are taking this value, this, this part now. So, see 128.0. If I convert into binary, I can write like this 1 followed by, okay, hmm, 7 zeros dot. This 0, I can write like this. Okay, 8 zeros. But you can observe that. When it is divided into equal parts further, na, you are getting 2 power 10. See, you can see 2 power 10. So, this 2 power 10, I can written as what 2 power 2 into 2 power 8 actually. So, 2 bits and 8 bits. So, here I will take 2 bits and here I am going to take the 8 bits. And remaining thing is going to become what? Prefix. Okay, it is going to become prefix. So, if I drop the prefix, it will be 1. Okay, five zeros like this, and you can drop this zero zero, huh, and then followed by what here? Okay, eight zeros. Okay, like this we can write. So, what is this particular uh, value? You can say this value is how much? It is all zeros now, but here when you are extending, 
here you have to put what all ones because the ending series is what all ones okay like that and the prefix will be the value hmm. so if you put all ones it is like this all ones eight ones hmm. so you can see it is starting with 128.0 and this value is how much here 128 plus 3 okay this is 131 dot 255 you can see okay you can see 128 plus 3 is 131 so this is the first half you can see so when i talk about the second half okay what about the second half in this once i divide into two equal parts now hmm, then this series is completed now next series will start from 1 triple 0 and 0 and what 1 and here you can have what all zeros so here also okay you can have what all zeros so these all are the zeros so so on like this one okay like four zeros and one and uh, write into what all ones you can see so here you can write all ones hmm. yes what is this value see 128 plus 4 okay 132 so 132.0 and this value is how much 135.255 so you can say this is the first half and this is the second half I'm, I'm talking about this particular block so once i divide into two parts if you have written this part is going to become how much 245.248 uh, you can see it is 128.0 but what is the slash value you can check here 2 power 10 means what it is 22 is the mask so here is the mask 22 so this is given to a na? now this can be given to what b because quarter is given to what b and second half okay you can see it is 245.248.132.0 slash 22 so this is how okay we have done this particular problem see a is given and this is b is given so from the given options uh, where it is available you can check option a is 245 it is 136.0 slash 21 and here you say 120 so it is available in option a okay it is available in where option a so a is the answer for this one uh, so now you can ask me sir why can't we go for b that is also you can ask me see if i go for b the first part 128.0 slash 21 this is correct only but when you go for the second one this you don't get that because when i divide it start with 136 but here we have 128 so option b is not correct see in the option b first part is correct second part is going to become what wrong actually so that is the reason the final answer is what a is the answer so the basic idea if you analyze the entire problem the basic idea is the mathematical abilities whatever we have when the isp is having some original block and when it is giving the divisions to the different uh, uh, organizations how exactly it is dividing so they have given this question actually sometimes they can give a query where it may not be a power of two see basically here it is divided into equal parts so it, you got exactly power of two sometimes they manually mention that uh, some hundred ip address are there then you have to take it as power of two okay so this is the the next question we have solved